Hey guys, it's Novel Lamp and welcome back to another video. We're currently in my car, in the Target parking lot, and I got Starbucks. You may be wondering, Novel Lamp, why are we here? Well, I was gonna film at my apartment today, but it is super gloomy outside and my apartment was super dark, so I couldn't film. So I decided, why not drive to my second filming studio, aka the Target parking lot, grab a Starbucks, and hit the record button. If you can't tell, that's what I did. In this week's video, if you can't tell by the title already, I am going to be exposing myself. Just kidding. At least I hope not. I have spent the last week on a very dangerous app. You may know of that app. It's called TikTok. The reason I say that this is a dangerous app is because the second you click on that app, you're pretty much submitting yourself to the next few hours on that app. I try to not go on TikTok as much for that reason, but this video was an excuse for me to spend an unnecessary amount of time on the app to find these TikToks for you. Or finding TikToks that called me out and instead of saying for you it said this you i'm sure many of y'all can relate scrolling through your for you page and finding a tiktok that is literally calling you out so i went in trying to find those tiktoks and that is what i'm going to show y'all today if you're new hi my name is novel lamp aside from posting every week on youtube i live stream every single day on twitch so if you're interested in that i will have it linked down below as well as all of my social medias and any music you use in this video i will also have the ads of the creators mentioned in this video in the description and also Make sure to hit that subscribe button because I will be dyeing my hair purple at a thousand subscribers. But anyways, let's just get into the video. Oh, hi. I switched the camera angle a little bit. Um, I'm going to be putting the TikToks here. And I am also not going to be playing any TikToks that have copyrighted music because I don't mess with that. Let's just start off with the first one. Girls hanging on by a thread. Mm -hmm. I may or may not like Dr. B more than Dr. Pepper. If you know, you know. But yeah, this one really called me out. I love Dr. Pepper. All right, this next one, I'm gonna have to put the copyrighted music in. <laughs> that is literally a visual representation of me every time I listen to that song. Team Impala is absolutely amazing, and I was actually lucky enough to hear that song live. If I can find the footage, here it is. But yeah, I just really related to that one because I honestly feel that way about so many songs. I love all types of music and appreciate all types of music. And some songs out there just really get me. This next one is more of a reading TikTok, as in there's a huge paragraph on it, as you can see. So while it's playing, I'm actually going to read what it says. I think I like to go to bed late because I don't want to waste time. I stay up knowing the consequences of how I will feel in the morning, yet I can never bring myself to actually fall asleep. I want the day to last as long as it can, even if it was a bad one. I don't want to get up and have to do everything again and face the world, because in my little bubble of the night, I am there and I can do anything. I can think whatever I want and I can escape. This one is definitely a little bit more deep, but I really do relate to it. I absolutely love staying up late for no reason other than it is the only time of my day where I am really alone and I just have time to think about anything. I've just always been that way. I've always stayed up late and that is literally just because I find so much peace in the night. I get a lot of stuff done at night and I get super motivated at night as well. Let me know if you can relate to that in the comments down below because I find that super interesting. I know some people cannot stay up late at all and I definitely know people that love waking up early so maybe my nighttime is someone else's morning oh my gosh this next one is so funny her arms were cut off her legs were cut off her ears were cut off her tongue was cut off oh my gosh this is actually me I hate horror movies I just don't like getting scared and the times that I have played phasmophobia going into it I'm really confident and brave but the second I get scared I buckle and scream I don't know why I can watch a whole hour-long documentary Netflix original about true crime that has all this gruesome stuff in it but I can't watch a horror movie or play a horror game this one has copyrighted music so I'm not gonna play it every normal player having full netherite by day 50 me on day 150 with iron armor in a cool house that I spent way too much time on. <laughs> um, yeah, that's me in Minecraft. I will go to my other friend's stream and they're just so advanced. And I'm always like, wow, I didn't even know you could do that in Minecraft. Maybe that partly has to do with the fact that Minecraft has evolved 
a lot ever since I was in sixth grade, but still I play the exact same way. I get on Minecraft and go straight to building a really pretty house and that's pretty much it. All right, all right. So this is the first TikTok that is a little bit different than the other ones. This one is more relationship based. Yes, my For You page has gaming. Yes, my For You page has viral videos. I do think I have the best For You page, but the one thing that is always on my For You page is always relationship stuff. So there are going to be a few boyfriend related TikToks in here. But again, I guess that's what I get for making this video. Like I said, these are videos that are calling me out. Can't talk right now, trying to catch a boyfriend. Yup. <laughs> I am so happy being single and I have no problem with being single, but I want a healthy and happy relationship so bad. And even though I want it so bad, definitely gonna take my time with that, but I just related to this. <laughs> the person who is relying on Summer to bring them happiness starter pack. I absolutely love summer. It has to be my favorite season. I get to hang out with my friends. I get to do fun things. It's sunny outside. There are just so many things that I can do in the summertime and it always brings me happiness. I know a lot of Texans are always like, oh my gosh, I'm tired of the hot. Bring me the cold. That is not me. I never asked for the cold. This next one is me every night. Oh my God. I'm not kidding when I say this, but I genuinely think Roku remotes have built-in legs in them. I don't know what it is, but I can never find my Roku remote. That Roku remote is just always getting lost in my bed. When you catch yourself smiling at their text. <laughs> Catching feelings is just, yeah. <laughs> All right, this next one is related to Stranger Things. So if you love Stranger Things, I'm sure this one is gonna pull at your heartstrings. And if you haven't seen Stranger Things, or if you're watching Stranger Things and you haven't seen season three yet, spoiler alert. Imagine crying over a guy. <laughs> That was so sad. I cried so hard over Alexi dying. That was a painful episode. This next one is me and Katie down to a T. What you and your bestie looked like when you first met versus now. We don't have any pics together. <laughs> This is literally me and Katie. As many of you know, Katie has been my best friend ever since I was in sixth grade, and we hardly have any pictures together. I'm about to call myself out hard on this one. 10-year-old me watching worlds of five most dangerous water slides. That song is actually copyright free, so if you want it, I will have it linked down below in the description. It's called On and On, and I absolutely love it. And this video is pretty much someone watching a YouTube video on the world's five most dangerous water slides, and I still watch videos like this to this day. My recommended videos on YouTube consist of apartment tours, apartment hunting videos, makeup videos, gaming videos, true crime videos, and videos like that that I guess are considered fascinating horror. You know what? I'm not ashamed to admit that I watched a video exactly like this a week ago. Anyways, this next one is actually one of my friends, Alyssa. She's also a streamer on Twitch, and if you want her Twitch, I will have it linked down below. But when I saw this video, I couldn't relate more. Got an impossible whopper, because it should be impossible to look this good. <laughs> When is it my turn to be happy? <laughs> this is literally me. Whenever I'm playing COD alone and I'm doing snipers only, I'll be vibing and top fragging. And the second I have a friend join my lobby, I go straight to the bottom. Dude, this next one is so relatable. Me finally going to bed. The sudden urge to find my birth certificate. That is also another reason why I have such a hard time falling asleep at night. I will literally lay down in bed and then the next second I'm like, wait, is my friend door locked? Wait, where did I put this paper at? My mind just literally starts racing and I start thinking about everything possible. Ooh, okay, this next one is a college one. Surprisingly, I don't get a lot of college related videos on my For You page, so when I saw this one and I related to it, I knew I had to put it in this video. Me on the first day of college. An alliance with me. The first kid I make eye contact with. 
Absolutely, I do. Good, good, excellent. This was literally me. My first day of college, I actually had a friend who was in the same class as me, but in that class, there were four separate classes, but literally I sat down and I just started talking to the girl who was sitting across from me. Oh, I didn't even realize that that was my last TikTok. That is all I have for this week's video. I wasn't really sure how this video was gonna turn out, but if you enjoyed it, please make sure to like this video or comment down below if you want me to make more videos like this because I would definitely love to do more research by going on TikTok. <laughs> no, but for real, I really hope you all enjoyed today's video. I will have all the creators' TikToks in the description down below as well as any music you used in this video and all of my social medias as well as a link to my Twitch if you want to follow me on that. I also really merch on novelamp.com so if you're interested in that the link will also be in the description i absolutely love the way it turned out and i'm always wearing them during stream where i play fortnite and if you also like fortnite i have a creator code use code novelamp in the item shop hashtag epic partner by the way i will see y'all next week with a brand new video bye